Now we are into the application section of our quiz on exponential functions. Well, this is a very extensive quiz and if you do all these questions, you are bound to get excellent marks in your test. Uh, now, the question here is question number 22. Mass of a radioactive substance with respect to time in hours is shown in the graph below. So that's your graph, right? Mass remaining and time in hours. Determine approximate mass of substance left after 15 hours. So this is 15 hours. Use the graph to determine the half-life of the radioactive material. And the last one is develop an algebraic model for the given situation. Correct? Take a good look at this question. You can stop the video here. Answer the questions, right? And then move forward. Well, this is representing many of those questions which are graph based. Try to understand how can we get information from the graph and at times write it in the form of algebraic equation. Now the first is determine approximate mass of substance left after 15 hours. Graph normally gives us approximate data, right? It's very difficult to get accurate results from here, so we will approximate to the nearest, whatever we could, right? So here the units are, these are the units 5, this is 10, right? And this is 15 for us. So, twenty like this. So, fifteen is very difficult to read here. So, this is forty, this is twenty, correct? The fifteen is here, kind okay? This is the point fifteen. So, it is more than twenty, and that is thirty. So, it is between twenty and thirty. So I will call it 25. So I'm calling this 25. I know this answer could be not very accurate, right? So determine approximate mass of substance left. So 15, when I see here, so I can draw a line. And that line gives me like this. And this seems to be more than 20 and less than 30. So this is 25 for me. So it is 25 milligrams, correct? So from the graph, the amount of mass remaining is 25 milligrams. Okay, now the next part is use the graph to determine half-life of the radioactive material. So we see at t equals to zero, the mass was 200. So half-life is when the mass remain is 100, right? So this is 80 and so this is 100, correct? So we go like this, half life in, we see, good job. This is a good value to get, this is 5. So we say half life, so use the graph half life, so half life is 5 hours, correct? So we say half life is, let me write like this, half life is 5 hours, okay? 5 hours, okay? Now we need to develop an algebraic model for this. So algebraic model we can develop say mass remaining, let's say mass remaining, so we say mass remaining after time t, correct? It is a function of time, is original mass. Original mass is 200, correct? So we say 200 is our original mass. And the base, now since we know the half-life, it's good to use half-life here formula, correct? So we say base t and t over half-life. Half-life is 5 for us in hours. So that's our formula. Okay? So I hope you understand where the mass is in milligrams, mass remaining is in milligrams, and time is in hours. Okay? So that gives us the formula. I hope you understand how we really got our formula. Okay? That's how it is. Thank you.